What's up everyone? Floyd here, because that's my name and I'm, I'm here. It's Game of Thrones season number five. It's here! Ha! What? 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 And to celebrate the return of my all-time favorite show and books, I like the books too, you and I are going to do a little Game of Thrones interactive castle magic on this episode. So, check it out! Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, I admit, I'm a huge Game of Thrones fan. And you want to know why? Dragons. I like dragons. Lots of dragons. Dragons are cool. So it got me thinking. You know, I always wanted to add an animal to my act. But what kind? Wait a minute. <laughs> Strike that. <laughs> I already did that. No, no, let me start over. Always wanted to add an animal to my act. A dragon. How cool would that be? So, got me thinking. Maybe I could conjure myself up a dragon. Yeah, let's give it a try. <laughs> Using my magical cloth of mystery. <laughs> I will see if I can conjure me up a dragon. All I gotta do is just wish for it and see what happens. Oh, look at there! Haha, <laughs> we got ourselves a dragon! Yes, it's a little young yet. It's going to take about 100, maybe 150 years before it'll be ready for the show, but uh, we got it. And anyhow, we got a dragon. Wait a minute, I also wish for one other thing. I thought, you know, if you're going to have yourself a dragon, you might want one of these. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh yeah, yeah. Because if you're going to have a dragon in your act, you never know. You never know. So, it's interactive magic time. I'm going to try a little bit of interactive magic with you and me. You there, me here. Because you're not here, and I'm here, and you're there. So, it's kind of silly if I was doing interactive magic with you not there, and me here. But, anyhow, we're going to do some magic. We're going to do some castle magic. Here's the grid of my castle. You will notice that there are rooms with inside this castle. At any time you need to, you can pause this video. What I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to predict exactly what room you end up in. Here's the thing, you can move around the grid anywhere you like, however, you can't go diagonally. Do not go diagonally. So let's give it a try. You're going to be drawn to one of these pictures. It might be. The one-eyed raven. Actually, in the Game of Thrones, there's three eyes, but in my case, there's only one. <laughs> you might be drawn to the ox, or you might be drawn to the armor, or you might be drawn to, let's say, the scepter. Whatever you're drawn to, put your finger on that now. Now, there's absolutely no way for me to know what object you picked. No way. So, let's make this a little bit more challenging. We all have names. Well, I hope you do. And each name is, has so many letters in it. So, for example, my name is Floyd. I have five letters in my name. And so, I would move five more squares. Let's say your name is Bob. Well, Bob has three letters in its name. So, you would move three more squares. I don't know what your name is. But if you want to comment and tell me, that's cool. So, go ahead and move that many squares. Do that now. In that square, there's a number next to the name of the item. You're going to now move that many times. Do that now. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. In that square, there's a number next to the name of the item. You're going to now move in this fashion that many times. Do that now. Hold your finger there. I will now try to figure out where you're at. Got a pretty good idea. You are right here. 
on the crossbow. That's it for this episode, but I'm going to give you a challenge. Wizard Wars is over, one of my other all-time favorite shows, but that doesn't mean the fun has to end. On Wizard Wars, magicians are given objects and they're told that they have to come up with some type of magic for it. So I'm going to ask you to come up with an object that I can do magic with. Well, but maybe a car or a plane or any, any object that is you can find around the house. I would like you to either email it to me, email it here. You can also just comment below. In one of my other episodes, I'm going to perform magic with an object one of my viewers has suggested. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you like Game of Thrones, give it a big thumbs up. If you don't like Game of Thrones, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Till next time, thank you very much for watching. Peace. Till next time.